guys. We are playing Dominion. I actually just played against this guy while my microphone was muted. He got the 5-2 split this time again. So this is uh, an interesting board. I don't know what some of these cards do because I haven't played for a long time. Let me trash a treasure, plus two cards, plus one action, or plus... Uh, that seems like obviously good. Let's see, there's... There's only city for plus actions on this board, so probably I'm looking for a... Probably I'm looking for like a fast way to win. Probably Trader is the way to win here, but I've never actually played Trader before, so I don't really know. Um, my feeling is that it's possible for me to lose if I go for a Trader sort of play, because I may be misevaluating the card. Like it looks like the way to go would be to just turn estates into silvers and take silvers instead of curses and buy out the provinces. But I think I can beat this guy just going with remakes. Let's see, remake and city. And which? I don't know. I'm I'm gonna try to grab cities, envoys, and monuments. It's, it's a very awkward deck to be trying to do, but Remake is very good, so on the other hand, I'm eating Curses a whole bunch. Um, so I can trash the Silver and get a 4 in my deck and one less silver, I can trash a copper and buy a silver. I think since I want to hit 5, I'm gonna do it this way. I don't understand why this guy buys estates. Not the best. Not the best decision. Um, have to decide here whether I would rather have minus two coppers or plus one city. I'd rather have minus two coppers. Just upgrading into a whole bunch of good stuff, basically. Um, wow, he's going really hard out with his remakes. Given that he's buying so many remakes, I don't think I'm actually going to bother getting a witch before my first city. This turn I'm gonna... yeah, this is gonna be a good turn. Cool. He has a city too. So if he's taking cities, I really need to prioritize just rushing the city pile. Uh, the reason being that if I was the only one taking cities, cities just plus one card, plus two actions, and probably remains that way until the game is over, but if he's going to try to take cities as well, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to activate sexy mode uh, and get a lot better. Shall I remake again? I just got rid of one of my remakes, so I think I will... Man, Remake, I guess, can be awkward. Sort of awkward in this hand, isn't it? He just trashed his witch? I'm down with that. That seems not correct. So I'm going to, I guess, grab two envoys. Can't be that bad. I do want to, like, 
get all these silvers out of my deck if possible, because they do just clog up the deck pretty bad. Um, grab another. Getting a little bit loaded down. But, yeah. <laughs> you get to play an Envoy after a city. You're gonna often be in pretty good shape. I think he's actually ahead of me on cities at the moment. Ooh, a lot ahead. He bought a gold. A clever... Clever decision. Um... <laughs> Turn should be good. Nine, huh? Okay, well, I don't want a province yet. If, like, at all, I think I'm gonna be monuments for victory here. I think what I'd like to do is remake just Trashy Copper and turn a remake into a city. Then buy a city. Hmm. Actually, I'd rather, I think, trash silver for a monument. Keep my second remake? No, that can't be right. I don't think he can consistently get two in a turn, so I should get a shot at the last one. Although, the downside of that is that it does mean that he gets the first turned on cities. And he actually hasn't put anything real in his deck yet, I don't think. So he gets one city. Always makes sense to play the Envoy before the city if you have either in hand. Since I don't want him to know that... Yeah, I can gain actions and the like. So I've drawn my entire deck. Uh, is there no plus buy here? City, I guess, will become a plus buy eventually, but pretty much there isn't. Okay, so... This is my city. I'm going to remake silver into a monument and a silver into a monument. Silver into a monument, envoy into a city. Oh, it's time to buy provinces. So how about, well, I could get rid of my estate too, but it's not very relevant, I guess. Because I'm drawing my entire deck every turn anyway. I do want to get a city and a province this turn. So I think the best way to do that is trash is silver for a monument. Trash Envoy for a city. Play a city. Play a monument. Plus eight. This. So at this point we should both be like fairly easily drawing our entire decks. With cities turned on and we each have five and we've been playing a ton of remakes all game. Uh, but he's going to have difficulty doing more than buying one province a turn. Which means that I should be able to just win on the back of monuments. It's the big plan anyway. Let's 
remake two silver into two monument. Yeah, and this is how I expect the game to continue until it's over. We're just gonna both draw our decks, and the hope is that I have slightly more to do after drawing my deck than he does. Like, he's, he's doing what I was doing now, but he is two turns behind or something on getting started, so I should... should have an insurmountable lead. Uh... It's still not over. I am sort of at the mercy of the deck a little bit. It's possible to to miss here for sure. I think I would like a remodel in my deck. Yeah, I think I, I'll be able to buy two provinces this turn if I put a remodel in my deck. Let's turn silver into remodel, and let's turn... I don't really want to get rid of my estate, but I don't think I have much better to do. Let's do this. this. Let's remodel. I think I want to give myself as good a chance of drawing my entire deck as possible, so I'm going to remodel a monument into a gold instead of an envoy into a gold. Play two monuments. Shit. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. This is what I was talking about with it always being possible to whiff. Like, you only need one city to get going, but... Missed it this turn, clearly. Um, decent chance that he wins now. I'm just gonna... Monument by an estate, like I don't have anything better than that, awkwardly. But he can grab two provinces next turn, I think. Okay. If he doesn't grab two provinces, I think I can win. I'm still ahead on monument points. He's only up a duchy, right? Plus he doesn't have enough um, treasure in his deck to remodel his gold into a province and buy a province. I'm pretty sure. So I think I should get one more shot at it. Oh, Dominion. So there are like so many cards in Dominion. You just get 10 at random for those who do not know. And yeah, every game is different and amazing. Dominion is such a great game. Shoop de doop de doo. So I was just planning on doing one of these. Um, interesting. So he's actually letting me get to. Maybe he doesn't realize that I can get to. I don't know. But I definitely can. And I'm pretty sure that it's enough to win. I hope so, right? Uh, I still have... yeah. Should be fine. Yeah, I do have two provinces already. I'm gonna 
display both my monuments. I'm going to remodel gold into province, and I'm going to buy a province. And that'll be it. Okay, so even though we, we stumbled that one turn, we were able to get there in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed a little Dominion action. Yeah, I'm going to fire up game of Puerto Rico next. Uh, I don't know. Magic has just been sort of stale. I went to Worlds over the weekend and was like cube drafting and drafting made up formats and it was awesome and then I came back and was like a uh, triple Innistrad draft. Uh, I have a deck built for Innistrad block constructed and no other constructed format. Uh, yeah, thought I'd play some Dominion.